most confusing things about IVF treatment is the success rate. Now a patient would say that's such a simple question. I want to know what are my chances of getting pregnant? So why can't a doctor tell me? And the reality is it's so complex is because every doctor has a different definition of what success means. So for some doctors, the fact that the beta HCG was positive means that you're successful. And you know what they do? They give the patient an HCG injection after the embryo transfer. So the pregnancy test is positive. So they have a success rate of 100%. But that's really just cheating patients. So you need to understand that in ideal terms, the success rate refers to what is called the live birth rate, which means how many healthy babies are born as a result of the IVF treatment. Now, this might sound like a simple answer, but it's actually a lot more complicated because a lot of IVF patients will get pregnant, but will then miscarry. So obviously the pregnancy rate is different from the live birth rate. Similarly, some will have a chemical pregnancy where the blood test is positive, but there's no sac seen on the ultrasound. Or some will get pregnant, will continue up till eight weeks, which is a clinical pregnancy, but then miscarry. So you need to identify exactly what the doctor is talking about. A lot of doctors lie through their teeth about success rates because they just want to attract a lot of patients. And this can be extremely dangerous for you. For you, the most important question you should ask is, what are your chances of getting pregnant after three cycles? This will be a much more realistic answer to a much more realistic question. And you need to find out for yourself before you sign up for an IVF cycle.